Are you a new homeowner ready to jump into buying furniture for your new home? Here are the top 10 mistakes you need to avoid. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. Buying furniture for your home can be overwhelming and when you're a new homeowner, it can be hard to know where to start and how to deal with the whole entire process. About two and a half years ago, my husband and I moved into our very first home and we were brand new homeowners. We've gone through the process of fully furnishing our new home and I've learned a lot through the whole thing. And today I'm going to share with you the top 10 mistakes that you need to avoid when you're buying furniture. Mistake number one is going too cheap. When you have a whole entire house to fill, it can be easy to get onto the idea that just buying cheap furniture is the best way to make sure that you can fully furnish your house. And I think that this is the wrong way to go. I think that people get into this mindset because one, the house is empty and they feel like they have to get things taken care of right away. And two, they know that there is so much that needs to be purchased that they just think that buying the cheap option is the best fix. But cheap furniture is cheap for a reason. It doesn't last. If you take the time to find quality pieces of furniture and take your time buying it, then you'll have nice quality furniture that will last you for years and houses to come. Don't just think about this house. This might not be your final house. Think about things that are going to last you for years and into other homes. Mistake number two is not following a color palette. Having a color palette is one of the most important steps when decorating your home. It can help you create a home that is cohesive and flows from room to room. When you start buying furniture without thinking about a color palette for your home, then you are much more likely to end up with pieces that are disjointed and don't look like they go together throughout your home. Mistake number three is buying the wrong size of furniture. So if you're coming from an apartment, you're probably coming from a lot smaller square footage whenever you move into your home. It can be easy to think that what fit and looked good in your apartment is going to fit and look good in your house. And that's usually not the case because especially in open concept homes, you're going to have more space that you're going to need to fill. So don't just jump to the type of furniture that you are used to buying for your apartment. You really need to, to take a good look at your room and figure out the type and the amount of furniture that you're going to need. In some cases, like for my husband and I, the couches that we had in our apartment were totally fine, but we just had to add additional furniture to our living room to fit the space. Now, some people go on the opposite end of the spectrum and buy items that are way too big for the space. So you really need to have an idea of how much space you have in your home or whatever room that you are furnishing. And that goes along with the next mistake that people make and it's not measuring. You have got to measure your room before you start buying or shopping for furniture so that you know how much space that you have. This will help you with the last mistake so that you don't buy furniture that is too small or too big for your space. Sometimes it can feel a lot easier to just rush off to the store and start shopping. I have made this mistake so many times. I love shopping and so I hate to take the time to measure and I can't tell you how many times that that has been a big mistake for me. I get something home and it's too big or it's too small or it doesn't fit. So save yourself the time ahead of time by not having to return the furniture and measure ahead of time and write it down because you might not be 
buying your furniture or finding the furniture that you like that day. Keep a note in your phone with the different measurements for your different rooms. That way, whenever you are out shopping or browsing online, you have the measurements for each room readily available. Mistake number five is going too trendy. It can be very easy to get caught up in the trendy style of the moment. And while you do want to have trendy furniture in your home that you like and you enjoy because it's the style that you enjoy, going with all furniture of the same trendy style is a mistake. If every piece of furniture that you own is super trendy right now, it's eventually going to go out of style and it will probably all go out of style at the same time. And then you'll have to spend more money in the long run by replacing it with the next trendy style. Mistake number six is buying everything at the same store. If you buy all your furniture at the same store, you're bound to run into a couple different issues. Number one, everything might be a little too matchy matchy. While you want the furniture in your home to have a cohesive feel, you don't want it all to look exactly the same. And that's what can happen if you buy everything from the same store. Another thing that can happen if you do this is you might end up spending more money because you are not shopping around to find the best deal. Mistake number seven is allowing the salesperson to talk you into something that's not right for you. Salespeople are very convincing. That's their job. Don't let them talk you into something that you don't really like or is not really right for your home. You need to take the time and think about it. Get a card from them, tell them that you will call them back once you think about it and make a decision. That way you don't make a high pressure decision right there in the moment in the store. Mistake number eight is not looking for sales. It can be very easy to get caught up in the idea that you need to buy everything right now, especially if you find something that you like. But lots of furniture stores have lots of different sales throughout the year. So go shopping and find what you like, and then you can wait for a sale. Oftentimes, furniture stores have sales around the big holidays, but holidays like Memorial Day and Labor Day are also really great holidays to find good sales at as well. And you can even ask your salesperson to contact you when there is going to be a sale. That way, you get notice of it ahead of time. Mistake number nine is not considering delivery. Lots of furniture stores have warehouses where they keep all of their furniture and it's going to take time for them to ship and deliver the item to your home. And sometimes they might not have the furniture choice that you made in the warehouse and you'll have to wait for it to go through production. So keep this in mind whenever you are buying furniture. We made this mistake with our dining room table whenever we moved into the house. We did not have a dining room table. We decided to host Thanksgiving and we thought that we could just go into the furniture store in the beginning of November buy the dining room table and have it by Thanksgiving. And that was not the case. It took well into December before we even got the dining room table. So make sure that you plan ahead with delivery. The other thing that you need to consider with delivery is the cost. So that is going to be an added cost on top of the cost of the furniture to get the item delivered to your home. In some cases, you might be able to go to the store to pick up the furniture if it's something small and you have the means to move it and a vehicle to put it in. But in most cases, you're going to end up paying for delivery as well. Mistake number 10 is feeling like you have to buy everything right now. That is a great way to break your budget and get you feeling overwhelmed. Take your time figuring out what you like, finding what you really want, and choosing the right furniture for your home. Enjoy the process of finding your style and creating a home you love. As I mentioned in the beginning, I have a free course called the Color Palette Crash Course. In it, I teach you the exact steps that you need in order to create a whole home color palette and get started decorating your first home. To get it, just click on the first link down below in the description. That will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. 
I am also working on a course for new homeowners to help you take your home from empty to expertly decorated. And one of the most important parts of the course is teaching you the exact steps for how to choose furniture for your home. So if you're ready to take the next steps to create a home you'll love, you'll find the link to the Design Your Dream Home course down below in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.